This is Hackett or somebody I want you to meet. Ty, Ty boy, get your butt in here. I told you to stay right with me. Now drop and give me 50. Relax, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry, Coach, I was helping an older gentleman with his luggage. The kid's a pisser. <laughs> Ty Warner, I want you to meet Joe Hackett. You're shaking hands with the strongest right arm this island's ever seen. Uh, gee, Coach, I don't know. I, Not I'm you. Be... I'm talking about my boy here. He's just what I'd want if I had a son of my own. Which, of course, everyone knows is medically impossible. But that doesn't make me any less of a man. <laughs> No, no, of course not. Boy, it's really an honor to meet you, Mr. Hackett, sir. You know, I saw you play once. Oh, really? Well, that's what my mom told me. I was only three years old. I didn't start remembering stuff until I was about four. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you, too. Well, look who's here. Oh, hi, Mr. Snapple. Hey, Ty. Hey, will you give us a minute here, Ty? Sure thing, Coach. Here, Miss Chapel, let me give you a hand with this. No, well, thank you. Wow, that's a pretty outfit. But I can't imagine anything looking bad on you. Ty, have you ever seen a movie called The Graduate? <laughs> Come on, Ty, let's go. Thanks again for the milk, Miss Chapel. Sure. Are you sure I can't pay for it? Ah, uh, your money's no good here. Coach, here's your bagel. Bagel? I didn't order any bagel. <laughs> Screw you, damn. Huh? I'm just speaking hypothetically here. But, I mean, it's not beyond the realms of possibility. I'm just 12 years older than Ty. That's no big deal. I mean, if I were 62 and he were 50, no one would even care. Helen, he's only 17. He's still in high school. He's a senior. <laughs> well, he's very mature for his age. Oh, God, Joe, I just can't talk to you. Mr. Hackett, is this a Cessna 402? Yes, it is. I think this is the same kind of plane we use when my church group airlifted supplies to the hurricane victims in North Carolina. Oh, well, you should keep busy, don't you? I try to do what I can. Listen, Mr. Hackett, I just wanted to thank you for taking the time to be a part of the official ceremony and everything. Ceremony? It really means a lot to me. Coach Snyder. Hmm? What's going on? Well, we're socked in. I can't see the field. Landing could be very dangerous. Well, you're still going to land anyway, aren't you? I don't know. Oh, come on, Joe. I've seen you land in fog a lot worse than this. I don't know, Miss Chapel. It does look bad. You're right, Ty. I'm scared. Hold me. <laughs> Chatham Tower, this is Nevada 121, Papa Papa. We're in final approach. You can't make visual contact. Are we clear to land? Over. Nevada 121, Papa Papa. I can't get a visual on you either. The ceiling is obscured. Proceed at your own risk. It's your call. Now you heard him. You can do whatever you want. Come now on. put the damn plane on the ground. This is the last game of the season. It's Ty's last chance to break the record. Boy, a lot of people would sure be disappointed if I missed it. Well, well come on, sir. Jack, just do it. Put the now, damn plane on, on the ground. This is not the time. Come on, come on, come on. 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 You know, Mr. Hackett, when I'm faced with a difficult decision, I often find the answer in prayer. Hey, somebody help me! I gotta get this boy to Chatham now! Oh, what are you guys doing back? Well, your bozo brother was too chicken to land. It was too foggy, I couldn't land. Oh, for the love! The game's already started! Oh, oh maybe Ty can catch the ferry! Oh, that'd take too long. Why is everyone standing around? We gotta get in there now! I'll fly you to that game. Roy, I was up there. There's no visibility. Hey, if there's any way to get in there, my pilots will do it. Go fire up that twin. Come on. Right this way. Finally, an airline with some cojones. Not that that always matters, though, you know, because sometimes... Uh... <laughs>